Hey, it's Luke John Harrison. Just before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Make sure the bell notification icon is on. I would love to hear from you, and it only takes one second of your day to make mine. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're around my age, you probably grew up in the 90s and were very familiar with the fighting franchise Street Fighter, probably more Street Fighter 2, which seemed to be the most popular. Uh, that came out in the 90s and I first remember it on the Super Nintendo. Now I'm relating this video to two characters from that franchise. I have an arcade machine in my office where we play X-Men vs Street Fighter, uh, Marvel vs Capcom, X-Men Children of the Atom. Um, and throughout life there's several roles that we play, right? Now in the game of Street Fighter, or any version of Street Fighter that I choose to play, I prefer the character Ken. Um, just, I think he flows better, I like his moveset, and he's kind of cool. Now, Ken as a character is a little bit of the, the, the Lothario, he's the guy who's got the money, the cars, he's the cool dude, you know, he's a drinker, he's a party animal, and he's quite appealing. Now, on the opposite side of that is his best mate, Ryu. Now, Ryu is the main character, often in white or as an alternative grey, and, um, Ryu is on an endless quest for self-improvement. He travels the world and goes with several different mentors. And they're both martial arts experts. They're both super tough dudes who are involved in the street fighting um, arena. But they're very, two very different characters. Now, in life, most men, unfortunately, tend to choose Ken. They tend to choose Ken as a result of they want to be the cool guy, they want to party all the time, they want all the women around them, they want the success, the money, and they thrive towards a character like that. And the character Ryu is, I guess, secretly what a lot of men would love to adapt more of. That self-improvement, that sort of free spirit, that consistent learning and growing and challenging yourself. So Ryu learned all around the world from different martial artists, but he also went into meditation and, and learned from yoga people and stuff like that. And, and is growing his skills continuously. Whereas although Ken's a super tough dude, he kind of lacks a little bit behind Ryu in some of the skill department because he chooses to live the life of partying and living the high life. Now let me ask you this. Well, there's always room for partying and having fun, right? We all love a bit of fun, just like I do. But we have to start to make room to be a little bit more like Ryu, a little bit more growth-centered, a little bit more of a more optimistic mindset of learning new skills, learning new challenges, thinking to myself, how can I start to grow a little bit more so I can appreciate the fun more? See, because if you just party too much, what's going to happen? Your growth's going to fall down. If you, grow, if you don't grow... You don't progress and if you don't progress you're not happy but likewise if you get too serious about it you're not going to have much fun in your life so it's finding that balance isn't it but imagine if you allowed a little bit more ryu into life into your life a little bit more self-development a little bit more growth a little bit more discipline a little bit more structure to your days doing the things that are not partying every weekend and staying up late and doing all the things that are just fun at the neglect of your health and your mindset so the question today is how can you allow a little bit more of both into your life, but more so for most men watching this, how to allow a little bit more Ryu into your life, a little bit more growth and development. And if you need some help in that area, send me a message today. Figure out how to do that and let's talk. Go get it. See you soon.